What is up YouTube? I'm back again with another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at, or uh, not really going to be taking a look at anything. Um, we're going to be, I'm going to be showing you guys the size chart on these chem suits uh, to help um, figure out what size that you're going to need. Um, today, just for a, a demonstration, I have my six color desert chocolate chip chem suit this is the the one or this is the the package that it came in and uh, I think this one is a size large yeah size large from 1990 with got the pants right there too um, I have washed the charcoal out of this one so it doesn't leak anymore if you guys have seen that video of me opening this one then uh, you already know how much it leaked so Anyways, that's just for the video. I wanted to show you guys that this is the, the charcoal chem suits that I'm talking about. Um, they also come in woodland camouflage like this and uh, OD. And you could have the newer J lists, which I believe have a different size chart on their own. So if you do have a J list, then um, this may vary. So just to put that out there. But, anyways, guys, so here's the packaging. You can see it's got the the national stock number, the national stock number again up here says suit chemical protective class 2 camouflage one each size large DLA 1990 that's its contract date and then it was made um, 6 of 91 and I'll assume that the D stands for desert and then um, the woodland ones before they came out with the desert ones they had a giant C on them, which I would imagine just stood for camouflage. I don't know. Um, then you got another manufacturing stamp, 690 or 691 inspection date, January of 92, and it never had another test date. Um, you could also see that this packaging was made in October of 1990, so sometime this month. It's having a birthday because it's as I'm filming this, it's October uh, Monday, October eighth, um, twenty eighteen, and uh, I'm filming this inside because here in South Dakota, it is snowing. Shocker! It's South Dakota. All right, and then here is the uh, information on the back. So it says, uh, suit chemical protective number one. Check garment for proper fit. Use the size chart prediction chart for your approximate suit or size suit. Trade items as required. Number two, issue suspenders simultaneously with suit for use if required to aid in suspension of trousers. So on these pants, they have these belt loops or these loops right here on both sides. Those are for the M1950 elastic suspenders. And then size or number three, these garments are items of outerwear and can be worn for up to 22 consecutive days. When exposed to chemical agent, they will offer protection for at least 24 hours. At the end of the 22 days or after 24 hours in use in a chemical environment, the garments are to be replaced. Um, that's just a rule of thumb. To be honest, I, uh, it really depends on a number of things, like were you right next to the agent when it got deployed, um, you know, like what was the weather like, were you upwind, were you downwind, um, there's a, a whole bunch of factors that really come into play in that, so just know that, um, that that's what it there's really no way to determine how long this suit is good for you now um, and then number four is when maximum protection is required wear this suit with protective mask and hood glove set chemical protective and footwear covers chemical protective over boots um, so pretty much mop four is what it's saying and use this prediction chart to determine the suit size you will need. So here's the size prediction chart. So let's say you wear or you have a waist 19 and over 
underwear and summer wear you should wear a size extra 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 small um, suit or if you are wearing it over coat and trousers hot weather so like your normal BDU then it's extra 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 small so it stays the same and then overcoat and trousers men's field wear extra extra small and then over parka and trousers men's arctic wear extra small and then if you have a waist 23 then it's for the same underwear and summer during the summer extra 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 small and then overcoat and trousers hot weather extra extra small and then overcoat and trousers men's field wear extra small and then over parka and trousers wear men's extra small or not extra small just normal small so as you guys can see this chart it uh probably not going to read them all off to you guys because if you guys can see the um exactly what this chart is doing it's just going up slowly each time so like if you were a uh, waist 43 then over your normal BDU you should wear an extra large or if you're wearing it over your parka or arctic gear then you should wear an extra extra large so that's pretty much what that's saying so I'm gonna get a good view I think about here Wait, hold on. So if you guys want to pause the video and you guys can read that yourself or the rest of it. So anyways guys, that is how uh, you should size these chem suits to you um, if you're trying to figure out how to. So that's pretty much it for this video. I decided to make this video because, <coughs> excuse me, um, I haven't had any requests for it, which Honestly, guys, some of you guys know that I'm actually really bad with request videos. I'll either make them immediately or it just takes me forever to make them. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but uh, anyways, I decided to make this video just because usually when you find these things, um, they're not legible at all. Like the, the print is wearing away. So um, that's why I made this video because I, when I open this one I noticed how nice the print was because it's not like this on any of my other ones so I wanted to take advantage of this to show you guys the size chart on this thing so if you guys have any questions want to know more about these things just go ahead and let me know and as always have a nice day